Jolie here for seconds out. Delighted to be joined by Hannah Rankin and the new two-time world champion at IBO, WBA in the super welterweight division. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's been a pretty epic night and I'm, yeah, buzzing. <laughs> Talk to us about the fight. It was uh, back and forth, um, but, you know, you must be delighted with the win. Absolutely. I, I, I completely knew Maria was going to turn up for a proper war. She's a very experienced fighter and she lives in the gym all the time, you know, like, and... She's been in with some great fighters as well herself, so I knew she was going to bring it. There's a, two world titles on the line. If she wasn't bringing it, that'd be disappointing, you know. Um, but I think my boxer, I outboxed her tonight, and I landed the bigger, harder shots. So, yeah, I was pleased with the result. A few things I want to work on. Obviously, I'm going to get downstairs to change room. No doubt, Noel will have a few pointers for me, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very, very, very proud. This is what I visualised, and it's come true. How important was it for you to, to win tonight and become two-time? It meant everything to me. Uh, I've been working towards this uh, <laughs> all year. Um, I fought in March back at Welterweight and the opportunity came up and should have fought in May and then in July as well. But then waited out for this and it was worth every single second of that wait to get this tonight. And uh, massive thank you to Dennis Hobson and Fight Zone. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. So just amazing to be working with them on a fantastic platform. Yeah, and, and when the scorecards were read out, it was a little bit wider than expected. Were you confident that, that it was going to be you getting your hand raised? Yes, I was, yeah. No, I, I just knew that I was doing the, the smarter work in the rounds. Um, and she might be more busy, but I was defending a lot of those shots. Uh, and some, you know, she, she would rush forward and stuff, and I was catching her with the bigger, heavier shots and some nice boxing tonight for myself. So I'm, I'm pleased, you know, boxing ability has improved. Happy about that. Now, Dennis Hobson, after the fight, said um, potentially Scotland next for you. How does that sound? How oh, fucking brilliant. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> uh, defending my world titles at home in Scotland is the dream. You know, it's in front of my, my home country, my people, and yeah, it's just a dream come true. <laughs> I can see how excited that makes you. Who, yeah. who do you think you could fight? Oh, there's a lot, a lot of people in the division. I'm not sure who's going to be up next. I'm going to leave that down to my team. That's their job. <laughs> and I'm sure Noel has a plan and Dennis has a plan and Sam Kinnock. So, yeah, I'll leave it up to them. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy the moment. <laughs> And talk about enjoying the moment. Obviously, last time you only had the one on the left. This time you got two. Is is that heavy around your uh, shoulders? Both heavier, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've dreamed about this. I've visualised this. The, the, you know, getting both of these. Like when I, it was just this one on the line, I was dreaming about getting my hands on this crown, and I've always wanted the WBA. And then the IBO was added to it, and it was just like an absolute blessing. So to have both of them is, is a real honour for me. Now, Savannah Marshall was in the crowd, obviously, fought both of you guys uh, in the main event tonight. She's potentially uh, looking closer than ever to a fight with Clarissa Shields. How, how would you see that going? Oh, I think it'd be a brilliant fight for women's boxing. You know, I, I always say the middleweight division is kind of like the heavyweight division for the guys. It's our heavyweight division. Uh, it's the exciting one. And styles make fights. They're two very different types of fighters. Um, I still back Clarissa to take the win. I've been in with both. But I think it's going to be a fantastic fight to watch. And it will just see like showcase two different things in women's boxing and I think people are going to really enjoy it. Brilliant, really appreciate your time and uh, best of luck with uh, Scotland hopefully. Thank you, thank you so much, have a do.